It has been pretty hard for me to contain my excitement when watching Ivan Demidov. I don't want to put too much weight on his performance in his Draft Minus 1 season, but even in the first few games of this season, he has been good, really good. He has some weaknesses and we'll look at them in this video, but Demidov has the creativity and the skill and the intelligence to turn into a pretty special prospect in this draft. So in this video, I'm going to show you his game. I'll break down some of his early season shifts against KHL competition and look at his many abilities, his potential weaknesses and his overall projection. The meetup is wearing number 11 in these shifts. In the first one, his team is breaking out. He slows down to get the puck off a cross ice pass. He sees that his teammate behind him has more speed than him. So he attracts the defender and drops the puck to his teammate, creating an easier and better entry. And then we get to see his off-puck offensive game and his anticipation. He tries to find space to become an option for teammates. He moves his feet, relocates and tries to support plays. Here he attempts to deflect a point shot. The puck bounces to the corner, the mid-off follows it. He gets it and sensing his space closing, he attempts a give and go with a teammate. Watching him in the offensive zone, he looks like a confident player who wants to make plays. He's far from passive and always looks to get open. Unfortunately, his teammates don't seem to use him that much here, but that's going to change as the games go on. At this stage, the mid-off skating looks more like a strength than a weakness, but it's a bit unusual. He doesn't use his outside edges all that much. Instead, he relies a lot on opening his feet and hips and turning on his inside edges. He strides a bit wide and doesn't always manage a full extension. Here, most players would try to move in front of the defender and then escape with a deep turn. The mid-off instead goes into a split. Why does that matter? Well, because the NHL is a league of cutbacks and outside edge moves. That's how players gain separation in tight spaces, how they keep their balance and stay strong on their skates. The mid-off might have some slight issues resisting pressure and escaping it in the top league, but we'll also see that he finds ways to make plays under pressure very well still. The mid-off is on a breakout again. He gets the puck, a defender is coming at him, so he makes a really nice slip pass to a teammate to create a rush attack and then he uses his split move again to block the path of the defender and create more space for a teammate coming in the zone, before rushing the slot for a rebound. The mid-off turned a 3-on-2 into a scoring chance and a goal with his playmaking ability by making a screen play and by driving inside for the puck. The mid-off shows his playmaking ability here again. There's a loose puck, he scans behind before getting to it and then slips the puck between the defender's legs to his teammate. Another defender cuts the play. He wins the puck back on the forecheck with a nice stick check and by deflecting the puck from his stick to his skate back to his stick before launching a pass to his teammate in the slot. This play from Demidov is a variation on what we saw in the first shift. There's a control breakout, he scans ahead, sees space, so he gets the puck and rushes it up. He has a teammate behind here, but he doesn't pass to him. What he does instead is use him to make a fake to get a step on the defender. The defender is about to angle him off the puck. So Demidov goes in a glide, fakes a drop pass, the defender bites and puts his stick behind him, and Demidov uses that window to escape and get a shot on net. This is a good sign of adaptability. Again, he's in a somewhat similar position as in the first rush. But the variables are different. He had more speed than his teammate and was in a better position to create a scoring chance. So he changed his play. We see his adaptability here again in a different rush. He fakes a forechecker, picks up the puck, heads up ice, escapes two opponents with pure speed, and then fakes an inside drive to get around the last defender. And this is a great pass to his teammate. Demidov knows that the two defenders stuck with him in his rush, and that space behind him opened, so he drops the puck there. And he's not done making plays. He makes a give and go at the line to get past the defender, he gets the puck back in the corner, and then moves it inside space at the top of the zone to reset the offense, and sneaks in the slot behind the backs of puck washing defenders. The shot misses, but he adapts again and finds his teammate driving in. Demidov showed multiple interesting elements here. He used his speed to create space for teammates and give and goes to beat the opposition. He supported the boy and attacked the right spots at the right time to create scoring chances. So far, it's clear that Demidov's playmaking is a strength. He reads the play fast and adapts to it well. And he also showed the talent for moving away from the puck. He made big plays and anticipated offensive zone rotations and opportunities well. I like his motor too and his ability to manipulate defenders off the rush. The main question mark for me right now is his skating. Again, it's not a weakness, but his form is a bit unusual. It may lead to some issues down the line. This is a power play breakout with two at the pack. The mid-off gets the puck, passes it to his teammate, and then rushes to the offensive zone. The play turns into a forecheck, but his team rapidly gets the puck back. It sets up behind the net. I like that he spaces out from the play here, to receive away from the defense and find a play. 
but there's no option in the slot. So he resets the puck high and then moves to his spot on the half wall. His teammates cycle the puck. He climbs a bit to receive in a down sprint, fakes a shot to make the defender go down, and get a better look at the net. This is focusing on details a bit too much, but I really love this puck reception. Hard and quick. He turns inside the catch, aligns himself with the net, and immediately threatens the shot. There's no wasted movement here. Demidov shows his off-puck talent here again. He drives the slot and prepares space to receive a puck here by lifting the stick of a defender. These little plays show anticipation in that he's not fixed on the puck and also thinking about his environment and what will happen next when he does get the puck. Here, he gets another rush chance. He probably had the space to go around with crossovers here, but he tries to shoot through. He slips in front of the defender for the loose puck, gets first touch on it, and absorbs another hit. He gets the puck back, takes it inside with a 10 and 2, and fires at the net. In the last shift, Demidov showed that he's inside driven and willing to play with a physical edge, and that matters a lot for his projection. You see these qualities here again. Demidov gets a pass, he spins to catch it without breaking momentum, and then cuts in the defender's space to fire. He could have shot from the top of the circle, but he made the better play. He did not shy away from engaging physically to get closer to the net. Here, he jumps toward his position after one face-off. He's forced to dump the puck in, as it doesn't have any speed. And the play turns into a four-check. He's F2 in this sequence, but becomes F3 after he circles away from the battle here, and lets his teammate go in instead. His team loses the battle, but he makes a great angling play at the line to kill the opposing rush. Good positioning, arc, and stick work to force a dump in. He enables his team to go back on the attack. His teammates exchange the puck down low, and they pass it toward him at the blue line. He gets the puck and finds the cross-ice pass. He controls his speed and attacks the slot at just the right time as his teammate turns to pass. He probably should have shot here. Yes, his teammate was open on the other side of the net, but that pass was a bit too difficult. Then the play turns into a 3 versus one the other way. It's the end of a shift, but Demidov and his teammate could have probably backchecked with a bit more speed to help here. Demidov scores in this shift. It's a power play, his team breaks in, and he goes to his spot on the half wall on the other side of the ice. Just like last time, he climbs up to get his momentum going down as he gets the puck. He catches, picks his spot, and beats the goalie with a good release. And here's another great power play sequence not long after. His team loses the face-off, but Demidov jumps on the puck to prevent the exit. He sees his teammate across the ice and slides the puck there for the goal. Great energy and vision here. He gets rewarded for his effort. This shift starts in the defensive zone. Demidov is playing the weak side winger role and doing it well. He looks behind him to find attackers, comes down when the puck moves behind the goal line like he's supposed to, and knocks it safely away from the net. That's a good defensive play. The play turns into a four check. He's F2 again here in his team's 1-2-2 formation. He manages to cut the pass and his team transitions the other way. He gets the puck, turns, and carries it. That's a great slip pass here to give his teammate a line to the net. Then, he jumps on a rebound, seals it from the opponent, turns, and passes to the middle again. That's two great scoring chances, and he created both by intercepting pucks from the opposition. He makes one last good play here when he attacks the slot and tries a deflection on a puck coming from the top. Demidov could improve his defensive play a bit more. He could have been more assertive at times during the game by taking available shots and battling for pucks even more. But overall, he performed well against professional players at a very high level of play. The only real concern in terms of NHL projection is his skating stride. He's more of an inside edge skater, and that may affect his ability to escape defenders in tight space and his balance. He makes the most of his unusual form, however. His speed and quickness and overall agility look good at this level already. So it's not a big problem, just something we'll have to monitor during the year. He might very well end up as an above average skater on our scale. The strengths far outweigh the weaknesses in Demidov's game. He can manipulate defenders off the rush, make plays through them, and he has a talent for moving away from the puck and getting to the right spot at the right time. That skill, combined with his shot, could turn him into a great goal scorer. And he can also make his plays under heavy defensive pressure, too. We saw him cut in front of opponents, use some physical skills, and he moved many pucks off the wall to teammates in side space. It's very early, but it's likely that Demidov will get a very high grade for his hockey sense at the end of the season. Right now, it looks like he has all the qualities needed to become a top line forward in the NHL. And if he keeps improving at the same rate, he could turn into a special prospect in this draft, and even contend for the first overall spot. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. You can also check out eperingside.com for more prospect analysis.